Hello and welcome to your Northeast Minnesota labor market update for February of 2021. My name is Carson Gorky and I am the Department of Employment and Economic Development's Regional Labor Market Analyst for the Northeast region. Over the next couple minutes, I will provide the latest updates on labor market indicators and introduce an updated version of one of our most popular data tools. So let's get to it. We now have the ability to look at the employment trends in 2020 as a whole. The onset of the pandemic and the initial shutdown in response led to a loss of more than 16,500 jobs in the Duluth metro area. By November, just over half of those jobs had returned. However, December brought a loss of about 1,200 jobs, meaning that about 38% of those jobs lost initially were recovered by the end of the year. And employment levels finished 2020 8.3% lower than they were in 2019. At the same time, the unemployment rate for Northeast Minnesota ended the year at 5.8%, which was less than half of the highest rate seen during the pandemic, but still higher than a year previous. As I've mentioned in previous videos, workers returning to work, as well as those that chose to stop looking for work altogether, both contributed to the general decline of the unemployment rate. You might notice that I'm talking about jobs and unemployment numbers from almost two, two months ago. Where are the January numbers, you might ask? Typically, I share the jobs and unemployment numbers from the previous month. However, January and February are taken to benchmark and seasonally adjust current employment statistics from the previous year. Both January and February data will be available in March. You can see the data release schedule for the rest of 2021 here. After March, the regular pattern will resume. One source that we do have more current information for is our unemployment claim statistics, which we are able to update weekly. Since late December, overall continued unemployment claims in the Northeast region have trended down, totaling 6,600 in the week ending February 6th. While down significantly from a peak in late April, claims are still about 1,600 higher than they were a year ago. By industry, construction has the most claims in the most recent week, but as an industry that fluctuates significantly by season, the number of claims is actually lower than at that same point last year. Food service and accommodation saw a spike in claims over the holiday period, but has since reached numbers rivaling the lowest point throughout the entire pandemic. In the most recent week, manufacturing, healthcare and social assistance and retail trade all reached their lowest, uh, their fewest numbers of claims since the pandemic began. DEED's Career Pathways tool was created several years ago to bring together the fields, clusters, and pathways of the Minnesota State Career Wheel with our full array of occupational information, including wages, employment, projections, typical education requirements, and level of demand. The tool was built to help students and others to easily access the information needed to make informed decisions regarding career pathways. The tool can answer questions such as, is this occupation expected to grow in my area? What can I expect to get paid in this occupation? What is the typical education or training required to enter this career? And many others. Our regional analyst for Central and Southwest Minnesota, Luke Reiner, recently updated the tool to make it even more compact and effective. Now you can get all of the information to make important career pathways decisions in one place and on one page. You can easily filter by career cluster using the cluster icons. For example, perhaps you are most interested in health science jobs and want to compare occupations within that cluster. You can also filter by educational requirement, limiting the occupations shown in the table based on the preparation necessary, say associate degree or vocational training. Lastly, you can also access even more information for an occupation by clicking on it in the table to open up the Career Force MN detailed occupation page which includes a summary of the occupation, detailed work activities, similar jobs, and even well-produced videos on what it looks like to work in that occupation. There are many other great functions in the Career Pathways tool. I encourage you or the students you know to check it out on our Deed Data Tools webpage. We even created an interactive worksheet to help users work step-by-step -step through the tool and its information. We hope you find it fun and useful. Unemployment claims indicate a renewed recovery early in 2021. 
Next month, we will have two months worth of data to share. Make sure to tune in as we will start to get an idea of where the labor market is heading as we continue into 2021. And through the next months and beyond, we in DEED's Labor Market Information Office will continue to monitor the labor market closely and provide timely and accurate information to all Minnesotans. Please feel free to contact me with any questions. And until next month, thank you. For more information or to find the DEED Regional Analyst for your area, visit our website or contact any one of us seen here with your questions. We will be happy to help you access and understand the information and data you are looking for. Thank you and have a great day.